finding the right habit tracker for your planner can be quite daunting. There are just so many things that I want to track, but I just don't want to do a separate page for each and everything. That's why for this one, we have everything in one page. We have the sleep tracker, the mood tracker, the period tracker for the girlies out there, and the habits tracker at the bottom of the page. This way, you can see all the stats side by side in one page and see how everything is just all connected to each other, how the good habits in your life is going to affect your sleep pattern, and how your sleep is going to affect your mood, and even how your monthly cycle is going to affect your body. So without further ado, let's jump right into the instructions of this video. So I'm doing this tracker for March of 2024 and it has 30 days in total. So I'm counting 30 squares from the right to the left at the very top of the page. I'm just sketching and marking everything with a pencil first because I don't want to make a mistake, which is something that I usually do because I am quite clumsy. Now that I have the 30 day mark, I'm going to draw a rectangle from the top row to the last row of the page. And then for the first three rows at the top of the page, we're going to draw squares with it. So each row at the top of the page is going to have 30 squares in total. Okay, so for the left side of the next rows, we're going to start writing the numbers from 10 to 1. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 is going to be for the mood tracker. Then the remaining rows are going to be used to track your habits. I'm just going to do the same thing like the first top of the page. We're going to just draw squares for the rest of these rows and columns. Now for the left space of this habit tracker, we're going to write the actual habits that we want to track. For me, I am tracking my reading habits, my exercising habits, gardening, going out, etc. The third row counting from the top is going to be my period tracker. Next, I'm rotating the notebook vertically so that I can start marking for the sleep and the mood tracker. So for this, I simply just write sleep and mood and I mark a line with three dots. Preferably for this part, you should use one color for sleep and a different color for your mood so that you can see everything more clearly. And now that I'm done, I'm going to start using the actual pen to put everything together. So for the first row, we're going to write the days of the week. So March begins with Friday. So I'm going to start writing Friday first and then the rest of the remaining weeks. The second row is for the days of the month. So we're going to start writing from 1 to 30 from left to right. And the third row is going to be empty squares because that's going to be for my period tracker. Now let's write the title of this page. I'm calling it Habits and Wellness Tracker. I'm waiting a little bit for the ink to dry and then I use an eraser to clean the pencil markings that I did at the beginning of this process. So we're done and as you can see I'm using black for the sleep tracker and red or pink for the mood tracker. It's very easy to use this. I'm just using a pencil here to kind of give you an example of how you can use this tracker. For the habits tracker at the bottom of the page, it's very easy, so I'm not gonna dive into it, but for the sleep and the mood tracker at the middle of the page, you see the line of the number one from 10 that we just drew earlier. We're going to use them as a guide. So for your mood, I guess you can rate it from one to 10, one being the worst and that 10 being the best. And for the sleep tracker, from one to 10 is going to be your sleep hours each day. So for example, if you sleep for five hours, we're going to start tracing five and then compare it with the date and draw a dot. And then for each day, we're going to start getting more dots and then we're going to connect the dots to create kind of like our own stats. Isn't it cute? Alrighty everyone, I guess that is it for today's video. If you did this habits tracker page for your planner, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, bye!